The stock market has officially lost its mind. Stocks tanking today with the tech trade really taking on the chin. A lot of those social stocks, by the way, were down in today's session. Yes, those meta shares are plummeting on lower than expected. First quarter guidance is tw down 22% mm -hmm. warranted. Stock is popping uh, almost 9% in after hours trading. Amazon surging after hours. The conference call is underway. Shares of Alphabet surging after posting a top and bottom line beat and announcing a 20 for one stock split. There have been some Mega movements in the stock market recently with literally hundreds of billions of dollars being lost and gained in just a matter of days. Oh damn! If the stock market was a human right now, he probably wouldn't make my list of friends. Oh friend! Changing its mind like the weather, losing me thousands of pounds in net worth over the course of the past month alone, and has simply just been a pain in the ass since the start of the year. To say the stock market has been a little bit temperamental right now would be an understatement. <laughs> It doesn't seem to know whether it's coming or going, going up or going down, and as a result, Graham Stephan doesn't know whether the stock market has bottomed out or whether he should just sell all of his investments instead. And as Matthew McConaughey says in The Wolf of Wall Street, Nobody. I don't care if you're Warren Buffett or if you're Jimmy Buffett, nobody knows if the stock is going to go up, down, sideways, or in f***ing circles, least of all stockbrokers. And because we can't predict where the stock market is going to go in the short term, it can create some problems for investors out there as they see the valuation of their investment portfolios fluctuate so massively. I mean, who would have thought that Facebook or Meta platform stock would lose $232 billion in value in the biggest single day loss in stock market history? And to make things worse, Meta platform platforms is also one of the biggest holdings within my own personal investment portfolio. No, God, please, no, 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 no. But look, am I surprised? Well, yes and no. Facebook's performance wasn't exactly terrible. They still had 20% revenue growth year over year, still making $33.6 billion. But Zuckerberg's lack of optimism in their earnings called thereafter really hurt the stock after hours. The main issues that were called out were around inflation, supply chain disruptions at advertisers, and users shifting to products that monetize at lower rates. But regardless of the issues, in my opinion anyway, it was a simple overreaction to the earnings call which came out. Meta platforms are still making an absolute ton of money right now and in actual fact they're actually trading at the best value when compared to their peers amongst the other tech stocks. The underlying fundamentals of the business simply have not changed from last quarter to this quarter but it's funny how the market can overreact and how all kind of rationale just completely goes out of the window when there's some kind of less optimistic tone coming out about the stock. But I guess that's kind of how a temperamental stock market works because it's run by yes, you guessed it, a bunch of temperamental emotional people. How dare you? Well, people and robots, but mainly people. People that literally control trillions and trillions of dollars worth of wealth that can be pulled from the market at any given time. Now, what's interesting is the fact that the stock market is made up of the actions of people. And because of that, human psychology plays a massive role in the movements of the stock market. So actually, the stock market is a simple representation of the collective mind and thought processes of the individual investors who put money into it. Something that I once heard referred to before as the collective market mind. And the way it works is similar to crowd controlling a big event. All you have to do is tell a group of people to head in one direction. And the chances are everybody behind that group of people will simply blindly follow. Because as the old saying goes, people just follow the crowd. But whilst at a big festival or event, everybody gets herded into one place in order to have a good time. But in the stock market, it creates a chain reaction of events, which in some occasions can be beneficial but then can be hugely costly to investors depending on which way you look at it. The reason being the market is like a crowd of disorganized individuals whose sole purpose is to forecast the future performance of a stock or the broader stock market in order to obtain a return on investment. However, because you've got a group of people who collectively make up the stock market all being so different, it means that you get people with conflicting and competing emotions. Some optimistic, some pessimistic, some bullish as well as some being bearish. But when the big boy hedge funds start to pull the plug, that's when shit really hits the fan. Because when one big hedge fund sells, another goes on to sell. And then it hits the media and they persuade you that there's going to be some big catastrophic market crash just around the corner. Then all of the remaining retail investors start to sell and it all starts to spiral out of control until some kind of equilibrium is reached. But fundamentally, human emotions drive order flow. It's the fear and greed complex within the stock market. When the market moves up, people become greedy and they start to put more 
money into the stock market because they believe it's just going to provide an endless supply of upside momentum and huge returns on investment. Hello, I like money. But when the market moves down, the complete opposite occurs. People become fearful as the value of their portfolio declines and they fear that the unrealized losses in which they're seeing right now will never ever recover. And as a result, they go on to liquidate all of their holdings and make their unrealized losses permanent. I am never gonna financially recover from this. But one way to master the markets is to understand the psychology of investing. Market psychology is certainly considered to be a really powerful force within the market. And as a result, regardless of economic events or underlying fundamentals, the movements in the stock market may or may not be justified. The reality is if investors start to lose confidence in the health of the economy and inevitably start to pull back on the buying of stocks, the indexes and the market prices will eventually fall over time. It really doesn't matter what the financial performance of the company is, nor how fantastic their long-term outlook looks like either. If the overall market sentiment is negative, the price of the stock will still fall. It really doesn't matter whether Amazon had a blowout earnings report this quarter, or even Apple stock being two of the biggest companies on the planet today, because the Nasdaq collectively still went on to fall just under 11%. Because regardless of individual performance of individual stocks, it's the herd mentality that drives the overall momentum within the stock market. And we've seen the true impact of the herd mentality through the meme stock phenomenon, a collection of individuals who all had a common purpose who built a community over on Wall Street bets. Collectively, these individuals with arguably no means of analysis or rationale to invest into these companies, apart from the fact that they wanted to expose a short squeeze, managed to hike the prices of companies like GameStop and AMC and were able to increase the market value of these companies by billions and billions of dollars. And of course, the way in which the herd mentality works is the more people that bought the stock, the more it got publicized size then as a result the more people that were enticed in to purchase this stock too. This is pretty much exactly how the herd mentality works and we may experience the same this year. Obviously we've benefited in the past with the stock market moving up very aggressively over the course of the past 12 to 18 months but in the next 12 months with all of the broader macroeconomic issues in which we're facing into then the same could certainly happen which could certainly result in the stock market vastly falling in value. Not only does it work when stocks move to the upside but it also works exactly the same when stocks also move to the downside if not more aggressively. The reason being, in my opinion anyway, the fear of losses outweighs the benefits of greed. And as a result, many investors lose money in the stock market during times of volatility and uncertainty. I've got nothing left. So what practical steps can we take in order to ensure that we don't lose money investing into the stock market regardless of how crazy the mind of the stock market gets? Well, the buy and hold approach is an investment strategy that I personally stick with. Holding through thick and thin, especially if the underlying fundamentals of the business in which I've invested in simply haven't changed. We've had so many different kinds of movements across multiple different stocks over the course of the past couple of weeks with earnings calls coming out, but fundamentally many of these businesses regardless of whether they've been drastically traded up in value or in the form of meta platform seeing their stock absolutely tank, I think more broadly speaking, the overall fundamentals of the stock market on the whole simply haven't changed. But what I think has changed is investors' sensitivity to the stock market right now, driven by the broader macroeconomic conditions which we're facing into. So because of that, certainly be aware that we could very much be facing into volatile times ahead, but when there's volatility within the stock market, that's also a great time to capitalize. And to take this one step further, and this might sound quite calculated, and that's because it is, but in essence, when you're investing for the long term, you want to be buying off the pessimists and those in desperation looking to unload their investment portfolios. The reason being you're able to then pick up stocks trading at a discount for you to benefit the most over the course of your investing lifetime. It's as the likes of Warren Buffett once said, be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy. And of course, it's easier said than done when you're facing into unrealized losses or just perhaps the declining portfolio value. But understanding the psychology of investing and how the stock market works, you essentially want to do the opposite of what the collective market mind is doing. Because in my opinion anyway, that's what gives you an edge as a long-term investor. Acting how just a handful of the very best investors act when facing into adversity. Buying when there's blood on the streets, even if the blood is your own. So that said guys, if you're on a mission to achieve infinite stock market returns, then be sure to check this video out as well. Drop a like on the video guys if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And with that being said, I'll see you over in the next video.